Hi everyone, so we have been back now for a couple of days and yeah, this is just going to be a catch-up video just because it always feels kind of awkward to come back after a while when you haven't filmed, so um, let's see where it takes us. So basically I just want to talk you through what I have been up to art-wise, what I have been doing in terms of illustrations and a couple of things that I got while I was away. So to begin with I will do a flip through of this MD Cotton notebook uh, which uh, has 12 illustrations that I did during the uh, break. So that will be a separate video, um, but I actually did a lot less than I really hoped to and I thought I would be able to do. So this is the um, uh, the little cosmetic bag that I showed you in one of the previous videos that I have taken with me and um, there is a video where you can see all the things inside the two watercolor palettes and all the other stuff now um, to be honest with you I only used a couple of things because like I said I had a very very limited time so yeah, um, I didn't actually experiment the way I wanted to experiment, which is all right. So anyways, I will uh, talk you through that in the uh, next video. But what I want to also um, let you know is that I actually, for that reason, didn't even manage to get to this sketchbook. I took it with me. Um, thinking I'm going to do some floral uh, illustrations and there was just no time for it whatsoever and um, so I'm looking forward to using it uh, once um, you know I'm settled back home so I got this in Vienna in Austria um, as we were transiting to another flight um, basically it's a it's in like an art magazine it's called flow and what i really liked about it is this lady she's holding um i think a grapefruit or something or blood orange or oranges something like that and it reminded me a lot on this um cosmetic bag that i'm now uh carrying my art supplies in so it was really interesting coincidence i thought the red lips um and the oranges so yeah that was quite cute anyway um besides the point of that it's a really really great magazine it's in german so if you don't speak german you won't be able to comprehend but it has lovely um illustrations in there that nonetheless you can um get inspired from i do speak uh, german and i used to be very fluent because i uh, finished school in germany to be precise in hamburg uh, which was quite a while ago <laughs> but um, the point is that i can read no problem and it's um i had a, a bit of a read on the airplane so i just wanted to give you a little flip through uh, that in case you are traveling um, somewhere through Germany or Austria you probably uh, will be able to pick up this magazine so for example um, there are illustrations like this quite minimal and digital and there are also this type of illustration as well but there were quite a few very cute ones um, so there's an article, there's a lot of um, articles about illustrators and, you know, their sort of environments and it's always nice to see um, how people, you know, how they surround themselves with art. So this is quite a colourful illustration. So then you get this... Um, insert of the it's called Vogelkarten so little cards that uh, feature uh, bird illustrations so I might take it off as well don't want to rip it oh. so basically um, it's a nice little glassine bag and inside there there are 
different birds. Um, very pretty illustration. Um, Turkentalba. So, and I think this is coming uh, from this book, which uh, is called uh, Meine kleine Vogelkunde. And um, yeah, it's very, very pretty. And the artist is Martje uh, van den Noort, I think. So these would be great for um, just sort of like a um, layout or that type of a thing. I think I'm just going to stick them back in. And it also has, like I said, nice pictures. So you could um, fussy cut these. These are Polaroids and you could use them in your layout. So it's great for scrapbooking and journaling collaging all that sort of stuff and the paper is really great it's got that sort of arty kind of vintage uh, paper and then there are some which come on this uh, glossy paper as you can see here and the articles are fun to read but like I said I predominantly got it for the pictures then you also get this one which is a create a nice moment for yourself at least once a day so that's a postcard that you can stand up somewhere um, in in your house and kind of remind yourself to relax and take time out and so that's quite cute and i like the fact that it's in english as well and Let's see, there were a few illustrations of something that I really liked. Quite like this one, the retro pineapple illustration. Like these pictures here, they're great for fussy cutting. Yeah, so basically that is this magazine. And it's just kind of nice to see something some color arrangements and then here it gives you a tutorial of how to create a simple shelf that you can display uh, cards or art um, on on them and they kind of look modern and easy to make and let's see this I quite like for um, you know maybe scrapbooking or journaling this beautiful at dragonfly illustration or print yeah so that's it so that's a good magazine and then um, one thing I also got this is more for like kids related stuff um, it's um, it's a sticker uh, set and I think it's uh, made in France yeah it's designed uh, made in China but designed in France and it's got these lovely it's by Charlotte Laberon, so uh, worth checking this artist out because I really like um, the illustrations and I think it's got, from the looks of it, it's got four sheets of uh, two different designs. So let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so you've got two of these. Look at that, aren't they just cute? They're, I mean, they're beyond cute. I got these for um, kind of like a, um, a photo album, scrapbooking kind of thing for Mason. And um, I think it will be lovely to use these stickers. And then you also get two sheets of these stickers as well. I love the style and the colors and yeah just really really cute great if you like um, kids illustration then um, that um, I would highly recommend to check out this artist she also had other themes as well this one is called um, wild and cuddly so that is it and um, the next couple of videos to follow will be, like I said, the flip through 
of the holiday illustrations and also um, I need to finish my Jane Davenport um, canvas journal has only two pages left right the back one which is attached to the cover and this one that I need to finish and then I will do a flip through for you also there is coming uh, a review for a botanical art um, book and that book is pretty hefty it's a gorgeous gorgeous book which I made a gift to myself for my birthday which was in June so yeah that was amazing I, mean, I think it took me three evenings before bed uh, to flip through and just really enjoy every single page it's really really uh, quite a special book so anyway um, also another little um, update i basically just now came back from a little holiday or a break with my son but um sort of last minute or <laughs> organizing a family holiday with my husband now as well so basically i will just have one week between the holidays and we are going off for a couple of weeks and um, this wasn't really planned so yeah so it's a little bit last minute but um, I just wanted to let you know that I will try to uh, film a couple of videos probably um, I'm guessing there will be two videos a week um, and that probably will be it just because I <laughs> I'm literally just kind of went through my suitcase or you know I two of our suitcases and realized there is no point unpacking fully because literally next week or now in a few days we're going away again so I'll just have time to um, reorganize a few things and off we are so just to let you know that probably there won't be uh, that many art videos and that is just for the next couple of weeks and then we're back for good because you know um, my son is starting nursery etc etc so things will be back to normal in august and yeah july has been kind of fun but a lot of traveling as well so anyways um thanks for watching i miss all of your comments all of your um input and yeah it's um i'm looking forward to be fully back and for us to continue doing art together so thanks for watching and see you soon